Good morning and welcome to TransWest Truck Trailer RV of Frederick. My name is Callie and I'm here at TransWest and Trailer Sales. So if you're looking for a new trailer, we've got Cimarron and Logan's as the two brands that we carry. Uh, if you're looking for something used, we take everything from little bumper poles to big LQs and on trade. We have a huge selection of inventory sitting here on the lot and then lots of trailers that are on order that you can either modify to suit your own needs or take as is. So this one right behind me is a really cool little trailer. This is something that we've started carrying. We've done them in Logan's and Cimarron's. It's a 20 foot, 26 foot box and we make this one so they can fit a little bit bigger horses. So it's seven six wide and seven four tall. So if you've got big rope horses, maybe some warm blood, this is a trailer that you could possibly fit them in. Now the setup in the stall area is really cool as well. We've actually done a full divider, so a stud divider, a center cut gate, and then a partial divider. This is a really great option for those people that still want to haul with dividers. They like the stock combo setup, but if you just want to run it as a stock combo, two of those dividers are actually completely removable. So they're on AR latch hinges. I'll show you once we get into the stall area, but it makes it a really great adjustable setup for somebody that has a lot of different needs that they're trying to suit. We've got a five foot six short wall on our tack room and 20 foot six inches of stall area on the head side with a four foot offset. Now with that five foot six tack, we've actually split this one down the middle and you have a separate dressing room on one side and a nice big trainer's tack on this side. So this is something that a lot of people are really high. This trailer is highly sought after for people that have a lot of equipment, a lot of horses they're taking to shows that maybe have different different saddles that you're using. Maybe you're doing multiple disciplines that you need um, a lot of tack for. This is a really great setup. So let's start under the gooseneck nose here and we'll work our way back. So right under here, the first thing you're going to notice is we upgraded this trailer to an electric over hydraulic jack. I love these jacks here. They're the heavy duty jacks, so you have the manual override which is a really nice option because if for any reason your battery dies, you can still pump this jack up and down and get it on and off your truck without having to hook up to power. This little handlebar here, you just insert right here. You've got a little knob right here that you pull out and turn if you want it to go up and you leave it in the current position if you want it to go down. A lot of people think that the faster you pump this, the faster it's gonna go up and down, but you really wanna count. It's like one, two, three one two three one two three and the reason that you do that is there's actually hydraulic fluid that you want to move around and just going faster is not going to move that hydraulic fluid any faster so slow and steady wins the race on this one obviously it's really nice just to keep your battery charged and then you can uh, raise and lower this jack at the push of a button on this particular one we upgraded the tires to load range g or 14 ply we figured 26 foot, you can throw quite a few horses in the back of that stock area. We wanted to make sure you had plenty of tire underneath this trailer for what you're going to be hauling. Now every Cimarron comes standard with aluminum wheels. If you want to get really fancy, you can upgrade to Alcoa's or SRW's, but the spoke style is what's standard. We can do this in black or silver. And then this little green cap that you see here on, on all of our wheels out here actually signifies that these tires are nitrogen filled. So when we have nitrogen filled tires, it means that our PSI is gonna remain a lot more stable. Nitrogen doesn't expand and contract quite as much as regular air. So that means that what you start out with is probably what you're gonna finish with. So if you start on a really cold day, run down the highway, those tires start to heat up, they will expand with regular air. The nitrogen is gonna stay a lot more stable. That's gonna help prevent a lot of the blowouts that we see. Now, if you ever have to have a low tire and you need to put some regular air in it, totally fine. You're just not gonna get the benefits of that nitrogen anymore. Now, the tires themselves actually come with their own warranty. So the Cimarron warranty is eight-year structural, three-year hitch to bumper for the actual Cimarron components. The tires themselves have a one-year no questions asked. So even if it's your fault, if you blow a tire, just give us a call and we are covered under our Lion's Head warranty. You've got two years of roadside assistance and five years against any manufacturer defects. So 
really nice option on these wheels and tires here. You're gonna notice that this one we optioned with those charcoal metallic sheets. We figured it's a really cool little trainer's trailer. We might as well dress it up with a cool, cool color. So you can still do your standard white options if you build or silver metallic, or you can even do custom colors. But this charcoal metallic has been really well received. We have quite a few of these here on the lot. Now this is what people are probably really excited about. Um, on this long wall here, we've got a nine foot six. And like I said, on the other side, you're a five foot six. So we've got a four, set, four foot offset. Gives us plenty of space in this tack room here. We decided to do bridle hooks and brush trays on each door. We carpeted the entire uh, trainer's tack area as well as behind um, the bridle hooks on these doors. And then this setup right here, since we're seven four tall, we've got plenty of room. We fit these four tier saddle racks on each of these posts quite easily. These are completely adjustable. So if you do have an extra saddle that you need to bring, you can always order yourself an extra saddle tier and it can fit right on that post. They're completely adjustable. So if you wanted to swap some of these blanket bars over to the other side and you know just move things around, you have the ability to make it completely custom to suit your needs. We did a rubber mat on the floor here. Just figured it's a little easier if you are stepping in and out of this. Chances are you don't have clean boots on. So it's just nice. This is really easy to clean up. And then in the corner there, we've got a nice big 25 gallon water tank on stand. That stand's really nice because it helps gravity instead of having to get over the slip with a hose. Uh, <clears throat> it kind of gives us just a nice point to drain out on these, these big water tanks. Working with this offset, it's just really nice that it sits so nicely back there. And then right over here, you've got more bridle hooks on each side. So you can bring all the tack you, you need and make it really, really easy to use. Right over here, we've got the two fold down steps on this one. Uh, even though we're seven, four, or seven six wide, we still have a little running board. It's a very narrow running board at seven six wide and it would be all the way up here. So fold down steps are kind of a must have for us. All of our customers love them. Just makes it so much easier to step in you know, just gives you a little bit more leverage if you're trying to get saddles up onto the top here. And then on the inside here, we've done two big Optibright lights. Those Optibright lights will make this seem like daylight if you're running these trailers at night. It'll be really easy to see what you're doing. So if you have um, a show that runs a little bit late, you don't have any problems, you've got tons of LED lights. We also optioned this one with a 16 inch LED light awning light right over this these two doors here and then one right over the back here where you tack up your horses so it gives you lots of light so you can see exactly what you're doing on these stock combos we have these extrusions run all the way up if you guys have watched any of our videos you know that i love these extrusions that simran does they're all interlocking they're triple hollow slats so that means that they've actually bumped out and got a radius on these so anytime we can add add uh, radius to anything we're going to add a lot of strength i like people to walk up to these trailers and kind of bang on the side of them they can feel how sturdy they are these side extrusions since they all interlock all the welding can be done on the inside uh, gives it a really clean sleek appearance on the exterior and since it's all interlocking it's adding a lot of exterior or adding a lot of strength to it as well we did this smoke plexiglass on either side here as well as on the rear doors. And that plexiglass is really easy to take out. You don't have to have any tools to get it in and out. We've actually just got these gaps here on each air gap. And uh, you're able to slide those out. We've got a little storage up front that you can throw those plexiglass in. So if you wanna get some more airflow, kind of customize how cool or how warm it is in your trailer, it's really easy to, to make those changes on the fly. Right here, we're running on two 7,000 pound rubber torsion axles. Once again, you'll see that those tires that were up front are the same as what's running on the ground. Two 7Ks on this one is plenty of axle for what you're gonna be hauling on this. The really cool thing about Cimarron's is they actually use engineers to, to decide where the axle or where the axle placement is gonna be to give you a nice, really balanced ride on your trailer. 
There's nothing better than pulling a Cimarron trailer. They just pull so well and so smoothly behind you. It's really amazing how, how having that perfectly balanced trailer um, really helps improve the ride. We've got tie rings on the exterior, four per side. Just kind of gives you some flexibility. You can tie horses wherever you need along this side. And then as we work our way around here, we're gonna get into the stall area. So we've got these two 50-50 doors here. Right behind here, it's a little hard to see, but we've got these nice big backup lights. So instead of having to run all the way back and switch on your eight inch awning lights that you have up at the top, if you're backing up at night, as soon as you throw your truck in reverse, those big, big backup lights are gonna kick on and you're gonna be able to see behind you, which is really, really nice little option. We've got a butt strap that goes all the way across. That way, if you open your door, if you got a horse in the back, they're not just gonna come rolling out over the top of you. And then since this is kind of a more upgraded trainer's trailer, we did go ahead and option this one with some worm flooring. Worm flooring is a completely permanent floor system. Uh, you don't have to worry about pulling rubber mats, which is always a, a major plus. And the best thing about doing worm straight from the factory is that you never have any urine get down to the aluminum floor and cause any pitting and corrosion. So you're really protecting your aluminum floor from the get-go. Cimarron has one of the strongest aluminum floors on the market. They've got four inch centers with a V truss every other and everything interlocks top, top and bottom. The great thing about that is that your horses are always standing on a center support. So that means that you're not gonna get those dips and hollows that you will on a lot of other trailers as you walk across. Anytime you have a dip in a hollow, it's gonna let urine pool there. So we've already eliminated having it it pit and corrode the floor by putting this worm flooring on, but it's gonna stay nice and, and level. It's gonna be really easy to wash this right out. Um, you can just power wash it out. Now this is not a draining floor, which a lot of people mistake it for. In order to accomplish draining full floor, you'd have to go and drill a bunch of holes in your Cimarron floor. Now Cimarron built the strongest aluminum floor on the market. I don't think they want you to drill a bunch of holes in it. So this is the next best option. We love how these perform and they hold up really well over the long term. A lot of people get concerned with, well, what if I have a horse that's shod and likes to paw? They can actually send you a patch kit if a horse really gets after this floor and just paws and paws and paws over, over the long run. If you see any sort of floor peeling up, they can actually send you a patch kit on it, which is really, really great. Kick mats, we decided to option all the way around in this stall area. Uh, a lot of our stock combos, sometimes we'll just do the hip side, sometimes we'll just do the partition wall. But this one, like I said, pretty upgraded. We wanted to have it just kick matted down low, make it really nice for the whoever ends up purchasing this one. So I mentioned earlier, we've got a partial divider a cut gate and a stud divider. Now, I've got hold back clips on these ones because they're not our regular spring loaded dividers that we have. They're actually on AR latches. So right over here, if you wanted to, you see you've got this AR latch, it's out of the way, it's not gonna cause any issues with horses. But you can actually pull this down and put it in the storage position and it's gonna pull the pin on the top and the bottom there you can actually take this completely out of the trailer. And since we did worm flooring, you know, you've got a nice smooth um, surface down here. It's, it's a heavy duty plastic. It's, it holds up really, really well. And it's gonna be pretty horse safe. Um, but this, this, uh, this divider is, if you wanna run it like a stock combo and just have a cut gate, or if you wanted a, a nice big open space, you wanna keep this cut gate back, it gives you that option to take these in and out. Lots of flexibility. Now, if you just wanna run this as a stud stall, you've got plenty of room up here. We did this one a little bit bigger. So we've got 42 inch wide stalls. Like I mentioned earlier, we're a little bit taller, a little bit wider. Having the 42 inch wide stalls is a really nice option. If you've got horses that you wanna run in here that are saddled, um, some people, some people, you know, if they're going to a show, they, they wanna have their horses ready to roll. Having a little bit more room will allow that. Now, Right after that, we have our nice big cut gate here, and it is also has an AR latch, so it holds nice against the ceiling there. I 
love how all these Cimarron dividers close. They've got a nice, easy to release handle. Um, makes it super simple to operate if you've got a horse in the other hand there. And a lot of people like think, well, I mean, it's a heavy duty plastic. Heavy duty plastic is actually gonna maintain a lot longer than metal on metal. It's gonna be quieter. Um, it'll kind of buffer some of that noise that you get in trailers. Cimarron does their best to make these trailers as quiet as possible for horses when they roll down the road. And then we've got our, our partial divider here, which is also on an AR latch. So you can take this one out as well. Now we didn't option this one with divider pads, but if you want to, our shop has them usually in stock and we can get those put on for you if that's something that's important to you. Now, another great feature about Cimarron's is actually this insulated FiberTech roof. This is probably one of my favorite features because we live in Colorado where we get a lot of hailstorms and I'll tell you after having a hailstorm that did a lot of damage to my roof at my house, uh, my barn roof, had to have all those replaced recently. I've got a two horse bumper pull Cimarron sitting at my house, no issues. The roof looks great on it and it was sitting in the same storm outside. So it's extremely dent resistant. Um, I'm a big bit believer in the Cimarron roofs. We actually did a comparison against aluminum sheeted roofs and um, these Cimarron FiberTech roofs after that last hailstorm that we had. If you guys wanna check out that link, just message us, we'll send it over to you. Um, it's amazing how much cooler these trailers are. You can walk in a Cimarron on a 90 degree plus day and you can feel the difference. That roof does not let all that sun come in and kind of heat up this trailer. I've sat in a Cimarron on a really hot day with only the escape door open, all the windows closed, and I've been perfectly comfortable. Um, so that's what your horses are riding in, and that is one of the biggest reasons that I pull my Cimarron trailer. My horse always steps off nice and cool. You know, they have lots of options for airflow regardless of the fact that they have an insulated roof. So you've got these roof vents over each stall. You can take out all these plexis. If you're running one of our horse trailers, they've got big drop down windows, big bus windows. So Cimarron really did it right when they decided to do this insulated fiber tech roof. Now I just stepped down, but if a rear ramp is really important to you, that is something that we can add here at Trans West. Um, we usually try and keep the different sizes in stock. Now, if you wanted it colored match, which you probably would since it's a really nice little trailer, we'd probably have to order one in, but it is something we can easily add to this trailer. On this head side over here, we've got all those tie rings that we talked about on the other side. Extrusions once again, and then we've got this nice big escape door. I like having the option to have an escape door on these stock combos. If you want to throw hay or coolers, buckets, anything up front. Um, you've got that stud divider and this escape door. So it's really easy to keep the horses loaded on and you can access all of that equipment without having to unload anybody. Now, if you do have a horse in this stall, we have a nice little chest bar that runs across. So if you open up this escape door, you're not gonna have a horse jump out on top of you. Now we're gonna work our way into this dressing room. Fold up step once again, just makes it so easy to get in and out of these trailers. And we went ahead and carpeted this entire front dressing room. Um, we did top rail capping. I mean, this is a really nice finished space. We've got a nice big shelf with a lip right here. This one we are waiting for the clothes bar to come in. So it will have a clothes bar right here in this corner so you can hang up all your show shirts and jackets. You can put all your your boxes, up, um, hat boxes up here. And then right here, we've got a 12 inch boot box. It is also carpeted. Great place to sit down, but it also makes it so much easier to get from the ground into this gooseneck nose. Now we've carpeted this entire area here. Everybody always asks, well, what's that little box up there? That is actually, actually where you can store your plexiglass. I mentioned earlier that um, you can take that plexi out, throw it in a storage. We've got it all cut down to size so it'll fit really nicely in that. I strongly recommend as somebody who has pieced back the puzzle piece that is um, putting plexi back in its place, I strongly recommend you uh, keep some painter's tape and a sharpie marker up there 
And when you take an air gap out, just tape it all together with some painter's tape so it doesn't stick um, and label which air gap it is. It'll make your life so much easier. We've done quite a few OptiBright lights in here as well. Since we did carpet all this, this carpeting is a really nice um, heavy duty carpet, but it soaks up a lot of that light. So we did some extra lights in here. And then right there, we've got bracing in case you ever decide to add a fan, a vent, or an AC unit. We've already got the bracing run right there. So great little setup for this front dressing room here. Just gives you kind of a separate place away from your saddles and get ready for a show or take a little nap. All right, last but not least, <clears throat> wanted to talk a little bit about this B&W coupler. This is something that Cimarron actually worked with B&W to create. We've, we sell a lot of our big hauler trucks and this is a great example. Yesterday we were doing some pictures and videos and we hooked one of our, our really nice steer vault trailers up to one of the haulers and we had to slide this up to get enough clearance for that bed so it runs nice and level. Now our old style handles, they came up too high so we didn't have this lower hole. A lot of times we'd have to go and replace it with a different style coupler if somebody was hauling with either um, one of those hauler beds or, or a really uh, tall flat bed. But because of this new design here, this is a low profile style coupler and we've got that additional lower hole which makes it so much easier for people to have some flexibility in what they, what they drive. Now, if you guys do have any questions on this one, if you want to see the build sheets or maybe take a look at building one um, with your own custom options on it, you can always check out our stock number. It's at transwest.com, 5N230352. It is a 2024 Cimarron Lone Star stock combo, 26 foot box, really easy to pull around. If you guys have any questions on it, I would be more than happy to answer them. My name is Callie Say. My phone number is 970. 3096368. This is a really cool little trailer. I think that somebody's really gonna be happy when they scoop it up to haul around to all the summer shows. Thank you so much for taking the time to tune in today. I hope everybody has a great Friday.